Hi, I'm Lauren Powers. I have been a type one diabetic for 13 years. So I was um, 15 in high school. I got really, really sick, very lethargic. Um, I was eating a ton, drinking a ton. Um, and by September, my physical sickness had gone away, but I was drinking a ton, sleeping a ton. Um, literally falling asleep babysitting almost every day. My friend who was a type 1 diabetic since about eighth grade pulled me aside and was like, hey Lauren, you kind of sound like you have symptoms of diabetes. I'm like, there's no way that I have symptoms of diabetes. Uh, I don't have diabetes, like I'm fine. I was this big, like I was very active and uh, he tested my blood sugar one time during lunch and my blood sugar was I think like in the 400s or the 500s. I was sick for months. Um, I was really upset as one would be. So I am on um, two devices, the Dexcom G6 and the Tandem um, T-Slim insulin pump, and they both communicate with each other uh, to monitor my blood sugar uh, and give me the appropriate amount of insulin continuously. I'd have girls come up to me and be like, what is that, your pager? One time my friend made um, cupcakes and she was giving me a cupcake and this guy literally across this crowded room was like, you're giving the diabetic a cupcake? I had people ask me not to inject in front of them. Like I still have people say that to me and say, ew, and shudder even. I don't have as much freedom as um, other people my age. So for example, I'm going on a trip tomorrow. I need to pack all of my supplies. I need to make sure that um, my friends know what to do in case my blood sugar goes low. Everything that I do has an overhead that is diabetes. Um, whether that's taking a shower, I need to disconnect. Whether that is going on dates and being intimate with somebody, that's something that I need to bring up to and disclose. It impacts everything, not always necessarily negative, but it's just in the moments where you're like, I just want to be a normal human being and I'm plagued with having dis to disclose this. The worst is when I'm going somewhere in a hurry and my blood sugar drops low. I need to stop everything to grab a juice or like a snack. Um, or literally like stop a date and be like, I need to chug a Coke right now. So, like I'm better in tune with my body. So I know when something's wrong, getting like um, monthly or every three month blood work done is very insightful into things like my cholesterol, which I don't know, like, you know, other people in their 20s are really insightful for. Like I know a lot and I do a lot of research and I also have met a wonderful community that I like adore and that I love being a part of. Yeah. Uh, when I was first diagnosed, I, I felt a lot of shame and a lot of guilt about it. And I would do, and I was six, 15, 16, and so I um, literally wouldn't like test on my ring fingers because I was like, nobody's gonna love me if I have like botched ring fingers. Like, what is that? What is that thinking? I am comfortable disclosing it to people and talking about it when they're they come from a place of um, you know non judgment and just curiosity. If it's somebody that is being really nasty about it or tries to make an informed decision, then I kind of get nasty about it because it's like anything. Like people think that, that they are entitled to make a decision for you because they think you're disadvantaged. So I would cry. If somebody brought it up to me, I would actually cry. Like I would, I would get teary eyed. It'd be such a, a painful, painful place for me. And I'm not like that anymore. I think a lot of it was just maturity. I've also had like 
dentists like accost me and be like you're not I can tell by your teeth you're not taking care of your you're bad di bad diabetic is what they said and that was like the worst I'm fine educating people if they're polite and friendly if they're right. not I will literally like shut done I'm not comfortable talking about that with you had to have to educate every one of my roommates on how to give me um glucagon or they have a new um injectable called Vesquemi, i think it's called um and it's like a powder that you inhale which is really cool the thing that upsets me is with anything like some people think that they can disclose that you're going through something medical. I personally would like to be the one to tell other people that I have diabetes versus them finding out, but it just happens that way. TMI, but when there's like physical exercise, sometimes you drop low and it's the most annoying moment to drop low, like when you are being intimate with someone. And that's kind of like a funny, cause like the pump is like beep being in the background and you're like sweating and like dripping in sweat, not for the fun reason. Other than that, it's fine. Kind of like one of my things though, is I love like when the people that I'm dating like have low snacks for me. When I'm consistently seeing someone and they're like, oh, I bought you some Starburst and like keep it next to their bed or like, you know, have ginger ale in the fridge for me. Like that's a sign that they respect me and they respect my medical condition. Like, typically, well, here's my medical devices here. Um, I will typically keep my pump like visible on my side. It wasn't always that way, but I love when other diabetics come up to me in public and they're like, oh, is that the T, like, is that the T Slim or oh, is that Dexcom? And especially when like little kids do, if I had somebody that I knew when I was diagnosed that like rocked that, like I would be in a way better position at, you know, 20, 21 than I was. I've been part of a very strong community online. One friend um, that I adore who runs a podcast and he's a diabetic and I have other friends who I've never met in person uh, that I speak to fairly often because of the diabetes community. Like I don't think that diabetes is all about carb counting. It is more intuitive. There are people that are so obsessed with their numbers and it's scared into them like that and it's really a mentality that I choose to deviate from. There's also, you know, people who don't like to check at all, like who, you know, who feel this like very, very internalized shame about it. And um, being part of the diabetic community has taught me to open, you know, my arms to any type of diabetic. And we're a community with something that limits us and how we choose to overcome that is our our own narrative non-diabetics are taught about diabetes in like comedy form you know talking about oh eating too much and getting diabetes and that just sort of perpetuates stigmas but i think if there's positive representation in like tv or you know, online, then that's a good way to get education. But it is much more of a mental burden than you think. Every single decision that I make, I have to factor diabetes in. Diabetics have to make, you know, an addition, it was either 100 or 300 decisions per day based on their diabetes. So doing things is not so simple. Going to a party, where there's food, you need to account for that. If you're eating something and you don't want to take insulin, later on you might feel crappy. If you inject and you inject in the same site too much, you build up scar tissue. Same thing with, you know, putting my, my pump in the same place. For those who have diabetic loved ones, you don't need to do anything different that might make them feel alienated or stigmatized but you know if you can just say hey i stop you know i stock the fridge in case you need some sugar or the last thing i want to feel like is a burden we have to kind of keep an eye out <laughs> for ourselves <laughs>
be kind and um, you know, be considerate and uh, be a good friend and a good person. <laughs>